it's Rachel here and I hope that you guys enjoy what you're seeing now because it's what I'm going to be wearing in the next like four videos. So today I am going to be filming for you guys a wedding update video. I mentioned in my last video that I was going to film one for you guys and I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I have for my wedding. Um, I want to do a video after the wedding and showing you guys what all was made for the wedding. So much of my stuff was a ha handmade by my sister and um, mostly my sister and my aunt. So a lot of it is like stuff that I can be really proud of and I can hold on to forever and ever and ever and maybe if I have children that they will be able to use this stuff. Um, so uh, after the wedding I will be able to show you guys that. So pretty much where we are now is my wedding is October 10th so we are about a month away from the wedding and it is incredibly overwhelming. I am like in freak out mode right now. We pretty much have everything set up for it this so far. I have all of my vendors taken care of. I have um, the my dress taken care of, shoes, um, all that kind of stuff. We have that all taken care of. Right now what we're kind of missing is the wedding favors. Um, because wedding favors, although it seems like it wouldn't be expensive for like two a $2 favor, when you have like over a hundred favors you need to buy that adds up quick. So we're still kind of not sure what we're going to do for our wedding favor. We do have like the cake and we have the DJ and all that stuff taken care of so that's really exciting for me. Um, some things that I wasn't I wasn't worried ever about and for my wedding were things like the uh, officiant. My dad is going to actually be marrying me so he's going to walk down the aisle, walk me down the aisle and uh, give me to Kirk and he's actually going to officiate the wedding so I am very very blessed and extremely honored to have my dad doing the officiating for my wedding. Um, a very very close friend of mine is also doing the DJing for the wedding and so we're not going to have like a traditional type DJ thing. We're really just going to have an iPod plugged in and he's going to have a mic to announce different things because I just didn't really see the point in spending over a thousand dollars for a DJ when really all he's doing is playing some music and announcing us every once in a while. So I'm going to have a very good friend of mine doing that for free so that's very nice. But yeah, I just want to show you guys a couple of things that I have right now for the wedding. So it's kind of like a wedding haul. And then after the wedding, I'll be able to show you more things. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys our guest book. So I went on and on and on and on and on about trying to figure out a cool guest book idea. And although this is not the most original thing ever, it is still something different. I just didn't want to have a book where people signed in it just because... I like the idea of looking at things. I love reminiscing. I love going through things over and over and over again. And I just feel like if I were to have somebody write things in books, I would just put away and never look at it again. So we looked at a whole bunch of different things before finally I was like, I'm just going to do this and this will be good. So. so the wedding desk book is a giant picture that people are going to sign. So this is our wedding guest book. This is one of my favorite engagement pictures of Kirk and I. Um, I'm very, very proud of this picture and people are just going to sign all around it. I, I really do. I love this picture so much and I can't wait to hang it with everybody's signatures all around it. So this is our wedding guest book. It's not, like I said, the most uh, original thing ever, and it's also, like, it's not, it's not like it's never been done before. But I thought it was different, I thought it was fun, and I just thought, why not? Next thing I'm going to show you guys is this cool letter K that I got that I'm not sure what I'm even going to use for yet, but it's okay. But it is this K right here. My last name is going to start with a K. Um, so I found this cute K. It was on sale at a Joann's for like $10, and it's so cute because it... It turns on. I don't even know that you can see, but it it turns on. You there's a switch in the back that um, it turns on and off. It's really cute. I love this case so much. So I'm gonna I definitely be using this after the wedding because I love it. We also have two other. K, I have another K, an ampersand, and an R, and it's gold and um, it's really cute. You know, because R and K, Kirk's may he say it starts with the K. Next, I did end up mailing out my invitations yesterday, so um, I'm very excited about that, but um, it's a very simple 
We made these ourselves. I got them at, uh, at Hobby Lobby. They were in the clearance section for $5 a box. And let me tell you something right now, guys. Invitations are stupid expensive if you're ordering them online. So each of these boxes contained 25 and they were $4 each. And I'm not even kidding you, I spent $16 total on 100 invitations when I was going to spend close to 500. Invitations are ridiculously expensive. In fact, our save the dates were $80 and they're magnets. I spent more on the save the dates than I did my actual invitations but we put these together we printed them ourselves uh, these were like I said $16 for a hundred and it took me three and a half hours me and my family three and a half hours to put these together I'm very proud of these it's um very simple but we do have purple as in our wedding and so this is very nice and finally, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is something I'm ridiculously proud of, and it's my cake topper. And we went the kind of not traditional route, and we did a cupcakes with one cake topper on top and some cake pops for kids. Um, I love this cake topper so much. I looked and looked and looked online for hours looking for cake toppers, but I think this one is so perfect for us, it's not even funny. And I just... I can't. I know some of you guys are going to appreciate this, so it's why I love it. And I'm even going to put it up against something so you guys can like get the fullness of it. But pretty much, it's a silhouette of a drunk bride. Oh, it's so good. Like, the guys, the, the groom is holding her up. She's got a wine bottle in her hand, a wine glass in her hand, and she can barely stand. And this is so perfect because you guys know I love my wine. I love, I love to drink and have a good time with my fiancé. And so when I saw this online, I was like, need it. And uh, it's seriously the most perfect like cake topper ever I could not be more pleased with the quality and the condition of it and just I love it so freaking much this cake topper is awesome so those are all the things that I wanted to show you guys for my wedding like I said after the wedding I'll be showing you guys some more things some more handmade things like for instance I'll probably show you guys pictures of like the flower girl dresses and the and the ring bearer outfits I'll actually probably do a whole after the wedding video showing you guys what I wore what Kirk wore because that's a big surprise but yeah, other than that, there's not a whole lot else going on as far as the wedding goes. Like I said, we're not going to go on our honeymoon immediately after the wedding. In fact, I'm not sure how people afford that, to be honest with you. After spending so much money on uh, weddings, it's like, how do you afford your honeymoon? And I think it's like traditional for the groom's family to, or the to pay for the honeymoon but when it came down to like traditional things as far as who's paying for what I just didn't feel comfortable asking my in-laws to pay for my honeymoon I don't know that thing's just kind of weird to me but uh, I am very very excited to marry my best friend I'm getting more and more nervous as the days count down um, but and I can think I can kind of see it in Kirk too he's getting a little bit nervous my bridal shower is going to be September 19th and my bachelorette party is October 3rd and Kirk's bachelor party I believe is September 28th I want to say so other than that, if you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave them down below. This is just a fun, just quick vlog type style video. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, thanks so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.